Hi everyone! In this video I will explain something really interesting. It's about optimization theory. Actually, if somebody wants to talk about optimization theory, it will be a very complex topic and maybe we'll go to uh, thousands of equations and methods to, to solve the optimization problem. But let's go a little bit practical and see how if I have an optimization problem and just I want to solve it. I need a solution, I need a quick solution. And there is many, many softwares to do that, even either by MATLAB or even by Python. So, but at least I need to know the basics, how to put my um, optimization problem or how, how to formulate my optimization problem. So, in this video, I will just explain to you how to formulate your optimization problem in very basic way. So, if you don't know anything about optimization or optimization theory, please, you are in the right place. Just follow this video and watch it. And I hope at the end, you can understand what is the optimization problem and how to formulate this problem to be usable in any software and to be solved by any software for that's specific for optimization. So let's say I need to optimize a problem, optimize, optimize something, I need to find the best. The best thing that can minimize the cost or the best thing that can maximize the benefit that I have. So in this way, I have an optimization problem, but it's easy to talk how to formulate this, how to put it an optimization problem shape to be solved. In this video, I will explain to you the four main concepts in optimization, so global optimization, what the meaning of to find the global optimal solution, local optimal solution, constrained optimization problem, and constrained optimization problem. So, in general, if you want to write an optimization problem, you have to formulate it. Of course, we want to find something that assume that we will find something that you minimize the cost of something you are working on it. Assuming that you want to minimize the fuel consumption of the car. So you want to minimize something, yes? And this fuel consumption of the car, this is a function that you will use it mathematically. That is, in you, this function, you can calculate the fuel consumption assuming by speed. So changing the speed, you can, by changing the speed, you can calculate the, the fuel consumption. So assume this function is just a function and in this function, it's a, the output of this function is Y. So you want to minimize Y. You want to minimize your fuel consumption. And you want to minimize fuel consumption by what? Let's say, assuming you want to minimize fuel consumption by changing the speed, okay? So there's a variable that you have to change it to minimize this fuel consumption. So to minimize this fuel consumption here, you want to minimize something. And this thing that I want to write it is, let's say, x. x, this the decision variables that you have in your optimization problem. So first thing what you have here, we have two things we learned, just learned now. We have what's called objective function. We have, you have objective function or some other box, they say it is fitness function and you have something else here, it's called decision variables. Okay, so we have two things. You want to minimize Y, which is the fuel consumption by changing the X, which is the, uh, the speed of the car, let's say, assuming this, in, 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 this, um, in, this, so in this example. Now we have, in this shape, we have an optimization problem. We need to minimize something by changing something else, but, is it physically, you cannot change the speed from minus infinity to infinity. So in this case, we want to add something extra, which is called constraints. And if you write subject to, okay, such that X, it has, it's higher than X minimum and lower than X maximum. So assuming your car is, 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 is driving for, is, is speed limit of your car from zero to 200, so in this case, is zero is your uh, minimum value and 200 is minimum value, is, is the maximum value you have. This is the basic optimization problem that you ever, never, that you have. You have an objective function, you have a decision variables, and you have a constraints, as you can see here. So to understand this more, I will give you 
a little bit more even explanation. So assume that. So assuming that is your uh, fuel consumption curve that we talk about, you have a function as I told you, okay? And in this function here, that is you have the speed, and with the changing the speed, you have you have actually the fuel consumption y. Sure, by changing the speed, which is in our example, sorry, it should it was in our example is x, which is the speed, you're changing the fuel consumption, which is y. Now, and the idea is to find what is the optimal speed that I should use the car, that I need to drive the car to minimize the fuel consumption. Let's go the fuel, the, the concept that I, I promised you to talk about here, which is global optimization, local optimization, constraint, and unconstrained. This we will just put the meaning of these concepts here in our e graph. So the first thing we to talk about is our fit fitness function or our objective function. In this way, our objective function is this function, this line that we see. If you can look at here, you can see, okay, that's why. At this point, this is the minimum point that I have. So at this x, this is x optimal. Okay, but this is, you have you did that by your eyes. But how the software can, will do that? You need to formulate the problem. So the first thing you have to be sure that is you have the mathematical formulation of this function. So y equal something of x. Yes, then this is your objective function. Now, so in this way, if you want to solve the problem and just to find what is the optimal point, it's called unconstrained problem. So there is no constraint on X to find the optimal Y. And in this way, that is, we can say, okay, we will solve it. And oh, I find the optimal point here. But here to good, let's go us to another meaning or another concept. Let's go global optimization and local optimization or global, global optimal point or local optimal point. If I'm looking, if my optimizer is just looking, if my optimizer is just looking in this area, let's say, assuming my optimizer is working only in this area, okay, and he find, my optimizer find that, okay, that optimal void that I work in it is this point, okay? So if I'm working only about this point, this is called local optimal point. So this is local optimal point. So in this local optimal board, this is it gives you an optimization. It's it's it gives you a solution. It's it's the right solution actually. It is an optimal point, but for this area, for this play, for this is the area for searching between here. This is called local optimization or local optimal uh, local optimal point. But in case that is we are looking for the global solution, that means the best point that I can get. I know this is this is the first point. So I can cover all the solutions in order to find the global solution. So this is the global and this is let's say the local. Now we have the objective function or not, we have global solution, we have local solution. But if I am looking in X, if I am looking for the optimal point without any constraint in X. That's mean we looking for we have unconstrained problem. That's mean there is no constraints on X. That's we have the problem is just minimize f of X by changing X. That's it. This is unconstrained problem, but this is not real. You will not find the problem ever like this nearly in the nature. Okay, so in case that has have constraints. In case that I have constraint, that means I have a value. So I have a lower bound for x, x lower bound, or x minimum, you can find it, but most of the optimization uh, software, you find lower bound, and you have an upper bound for x. Okay, so what is doing here? That is in this, that is your, so you, your optimizer is looking for a solution only the optimal x in this in this region between x, the lower point of x, uh, sorry, the lower point of x and the upper bound of x. In this video, actually, we understand what is optimization problem is, what's the main component of the optimization problem, objective variable, objective function, decision variables, constraints. We get the difference between unconstrained problem and constraints a problem. 
I hope in this video you get so that you get an idea about what's the optimization problem, how to formulate it. In the next video, I will show you how to solve this optimization problem using Python. And I hope in the next one, we will solve it using MATLAB. Please, if you have any question, just please put it in the comment. Thank you so much and see you next.